It's taken me a few years to get the um, John S. Knight Fellows into the library for a library workshop. So this year was the first year that we actually did an information session with the fellows. Um, but I was thrilled because um, the fellows are um, well known for being really inquisitive and uh, digging up really interesting questions and so I was excited for their questions. And at the end of the class there were a few questions and this was one of them. raised my hand and I'm like, hey, I'm looking for this really long title. Uh, and actually I have the title here. It's, I can never remember it because it's long, but it's good. It's, it, so the title of her thesis was Tran Transcending the Problem of the Black Graphic Designer to Success in the Marketplace by Cheryl Miller. First thing I did was look in the databases that we have for um, PhD and master's theses and it wasn't in there. And so I knew that it was going to require a little more digging around, and so uh, exchange of email is typical. And um, then I eventually tracked it down by just knowing, by finding uh, the journal article that mentions it, and then tracking it down to Pratt Institute, contacting Pratt and asking them to do an interlibrary loan of the thesis, so, which they did, and, and then, you know, it was right before the winter break, so it was like, okay, my work is done here, and then uh, the question comes up, can I share this with my readers group, and so that requires copyright permissions from the author. So uh, the next step would normally be for the, me to say to the researcher, you, you should just inquire um, from the author if you can get copyright, but because I thought, wow, a whole readers group of 20 people, they want to read this? This must be really important work. And um, let me see if I can do something, put it in the SDR, the Stanford Digital Repository, um, so that others can use it in future researchers be beyond this t group of 20. Um, that was the promising bit was that, you know, this thing is still around and it's accessible. Um, you know, but I would have to go, you know, all the way to New York, you know, to figure that out. And, you know, I don't have those kinds of funds. I'm on a fellowship. So I ran into a wall and, you know, that was the barrier between me and this thesis. Um, you know, but the experience of being able to work with Stanford Library and to have such a, a great resource in the librarian and for Regina to not only, um, you know, take on the, the, the work of getting me access to this particular thesis, but it would eventually unfold into an entire collection of Cheryl Miller, which is even more exciting. <laughs> and so that's what I did. I tracked down Cheryl Miller. Through the conversations with her, uh, I could tell that there was more to her work than just the thesis, that there was more there, that she had a lot more to share. And so, you know, the first, the discussion just kind of went on from there and she described uh, the body of the work and um, the complexity of um, her, her own personal identity journey as a woman of color, mixed race, multi-ethnic background and amassing some really, really important clients um, like the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, um, the Joint Center for Political and Economic Studies, um, the Black Caucus, uh, and so all of those clients really blossomed from her um, tenacity and drive. It, it's great for uh, Regina to have been able to go to her house and you know spend time with her and you know pull uh, you know, work off of her own shelves and talk deeply about, you know, these different various contributions that she's made, these, these wonderful clients that she's had. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it, it's great to also sort of be a fly on the wall, like, wow, this is happening, you know, and um, I'm just like eating it up the whole time. And, um, and, and then, you know, to, you know, for that hand raise to lead to such a bigger, thing um, I think is just amazing. I, I, I can't even, I'm still wrestling with the idea that, you know, I had a hand in this um, and all I did was kind of raise my hand. <laughs> Again, thank you. Please enjoy. May it prosper the next young designer and whatever you do, 
um, keep on grid. Yes, thank you so much.